Yeah, fuck Kafa. Hello, everyone. My name is Basilisk, and welcome back to and welcome to Let's Play Wild Arms Three. I've got a co-host. It is me, the Caffeine Dragon, here to also say fuck the Kappas. Okay. Now that we've done that, and we don't have to worry about any about the fucking algorithm ha picking us up, which it shouldn't anyways, because I swear a lot. Okay. Yeah, Wild Arms Three. As you might be gathering from this audio, from this game's music. This ain't your typical JRPG fair. But we're gonna get a bit more of that when I push this start button. Anyways. I've got... You are not far at all, are you? Oh, this? No, I've had to restart. I've lost my memory card like three times. It's um, bad. Man, I, know that. I, I, um, lost complete, I lost a completed game file because of... Exactly. Several, but... Forever to be this fucking game. Yeah. Alright, um... But yeah, I've got Caffeine Dragon here because he loves this game as much as I do. And... Yep. To put that in clarity, this is one of the... This is one of the two best JRPGs I've ever played. Whether or not it's the best depends on my mood. I just like the game. Yeah, and... <laughs> I just like the game. Also, I figured we should already get this out of the way. This is not for kids. It really ain't. Like, it ain't. We're not even gonna get... It's only gonna be a couple of hours into the game before we get our first case of incest, so... Of course, that guy's a bad guy. Yep. So, let, we're gonna start a new game because it would be a very bad form to load an old save for a new Let's Play. Unless you're playing, like, I don't know, Yu-Gi-Oh, maybe? It was a dark and stormy night, because we need cliches in our life. Stormy, it's not really that stormy. It's just dark. Yeah, no, there's not really very many storms. I mean, it's windy, I guess. We got a train. And then the crew of the Serenity drops down to steal medicine. I was gonna say Midgar's plate drops, but... <laughs> I'd say nothing quite so disastrous is gonna happen, but... I mean, this is a JRPG <laughs> opening. We both know this game. Speaking of, here's our main character. She wears a dress. The entire game, and it's modest. Yep. So, you know, now that we've subverted every fucking character design standard for, fema for female JRPG characters. In one character, too. It's kind of impressive. Yeah. I mean, she does also have some more of the... She... Oh, oh, shit. Gotta watch some trains, man. Oh, I'm fine. It's just a concussion. Attention all passengers, we are currently decelerating from our normal seat. No shit! We noticed! The train is decelerating, not our text box. Yeah, no. For some reason, this first part of the game has unskippable text boxes, and I kind of wish they didn't. They're talking! And evidently, our girl here is just like, eh, I'm leaving. Oh, shit, I gotta stop running into things. Oh, hey, Iron I'm Man. terribly sorry. Are you alright? I was in a rush! Can you tell me what's going on? I'm not sure. I'm making the rounds to see what I can find out. Until then, please remain to your cabin- or return to your cabin and remain seated. Remain to your cabin, huh? Also, fuck you! <laughs> see ya! Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, I'm fired! <laughs> Miss, please, this car is off limits! Yes. Yeah, obviously. You've got chains around the door, you idiot. That is correct. I'm going to punch your tits. <laughs> so, that's where all the plot's happening, right? Because, look, someone done broke your, broke your chains. Ah, ah, shit. I am super fired. I've got the key. This is pretty much fucking useless right now. That sense makes no sense. <laughs> Uh, let's go check it out since you're already fired. 
You can't get me more fired by letting me see it. Ah, uh, yes, I can see in the night. Yeah, see, I'm part cat. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I have orange hair. Actually, though, given that Virginia should have, fought, have flaming trading cards or whatever those, that shit's supposed to be. Yeah, crest or some bullshit. Why That's are you something. holding butterflies? Why are you holding fireflies in a box? Jet makes an entrance. Well, everything happening. Geez, we got here a Phil guy in standoff. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, so we got four playable characters here we got to choose from. And this, no, for those curious, this doesn't decide our characters through the entire game. It's essentially but, how we're going... Th it just essentially decides how we go through the prologue. But it does tell us one thing. The girl is the easy... Yeah. Um, actually, anyway. Well, yeah, okay, so we got the girl in first class. She's only... She's the easy one. A suspicious intruder... He's a mildly he's mildly hard. He's only suspicious because he has dark skin. Not getting into that. Um, <laughs> actually, he's Native American, so. Yeah, that's true. And anyways, we got the boy who broke in, who was also mildly hard. He got to look. He got to look at Virginia. As Lord. Kinda, yeah. Look at all them belts. Look at all them bullets on his belt. And a drifter guardsman. Uber brought a sniper rifle to a gunfight. He is really hard, and he has green hair. Okay, so we're gonna start, huh? He screws the rules. Kinda does too. Not as bad as Raquel and Four, but for kind of the same reasons. Anyway, let's start. Let's start with. Uh, we're gonna start with the girl in first class, and we can name these assholes if we want. But let's not. Kind of I not mean, gonna do that because we. No, no, no! <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Change her name to Florida. No. Because nothing she does in this game makes sense. Actually, I can generally follow her motivation. I call her West Virginia if I could, though. Mountain Mama. Huh? Mountain Mama. I cannot hear you. Yeah, uh, Mountain Mama. Oh, okay, got gotcha. you. Take me home. Tell okay. me lies, tell me sweet little lies. We should have named her Denver, damn it! <laughs> Two weeks before the fateful encounter, someone shot my cat. Bolt fiction bullshit. Like, seriously, my cat was laying on her belly, but now she's laying on her back like someone shot her. What the hell is wrong with you, furball? Um, but yeah, Virginia's village is getting raided by fucking demi-humans. And this isn't fucking Path of Radiance, where demi-human is a dirty word. No, they're literally demi-humans. They're all evil. They're fucking goblins. Hey, you've taken everything we have. I asked that you leave here at once and leave us in peace. I've got a mustache. Oh wait, I got push axe. Okay. Oh yeah, if you push the left, you can look at the pretty pictures, but they look, but they're always slightly off-colored. I'm looking at everything through tinted glasses right now, so this looks extremely brown. <laughs> Uncle Tesla! <laughs> Don't invent a coil! <laughs> I'm gone. Tough words from loser. Me teach you lesson. Me have beer. Might is right. So you're wrong. And me am right. Me am right. Some him cool. Gob gob. Face my beer. <laughs> no! You're making the maid cry, you ass. Cop, cop. Me am strong. I'm always hungry. Somebody come here for food. That is rule. And me am cool. Cop, cop. Food is my beer. That's not usually how eating all the time works. Does cop, cop care? Cop, cop. Need food for beard. Beard is hungry. Ah. Cop, cop. You are uncool. So you feed me and buddies. That is new rule that me decide. Cop. I've got to have a beard. Says you, I've got a swanky bow tie. Feed you? 
We can't afford to do that. We all. I'd lose my mustache. Ah, my mustache. Gum, gum, tastes good. We get full quickly. Check out my beard. <laughs> you have no food, then eat some of that. Gum, gum. Oh, my beard hurts. I don't want to eat your face, though. Mush doggy. Check out my beard. If you're going to ask a question if uh, I'm going to constantly make beard jokes and mustache jokes, the answer is yes. Good. I'm all right. Don't worry about it. My mustache sucks, though. Everyone is safe. That's all that matters. Except my mustache. Oh no, my mustache didn't notice Virginia leaving somehow. Virginia? Where's Virginia? Where's my mustache gone? Oh right, still on my face. Wait, how the fuck did she get out of there with nobody noticing? Are these fuckers blind? Mate, he noticed. Yeah, but these guys are fucking... They got the situational situational awareness of a dead goat. Cause she just waltzes right the fuck up. Yep. It's not like she's in she's not like she's wearing stealthy clothes here. Magenta is not the color of stealth. In a magenta environment it will Well yeah, but everything's brown. Ugh. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, now they do probably know you're here. Donovan, you still there? Gum -gum. Okay. Hear that? Gum -gum. Shut the hell up! I'm trying to eat. Check out my beard. <laughs> it's a big gun. I... That gun is ridiculous. The gun's <laughs> not actually that same size as the gun. The old joke gun. That gun. This goddamn ridiculous. <laughs> I love that puts in that tiny ass, uh, well, relatively realistically sized holster. It's amazing. It's also, hilarious. it's time to fly. Yeah, okay. There's going to be about two and a half million metaphors about flying and wings and wind and my god. <laughs> to be fair, I think that was also in the other games. No. Oh yeah, that's right. Rudy didn't talk in the first game. No, and I think I don't. I think he talks in Alter Code F. But either so way, what? there is not this much flying metaphors. Ah uh, well, well. And the two has to be a pretty pretty. Yeah, two is a completely different affair. Four, five, no. And Crossfire just goes on about lies the entire runtime. Crossfire's weird, though. Alright, so, we got gameplay only 14 minutes into the episode. <laughs> God, what game was I playing? There was like an hour-long intro before you got to play something. Golden Sun? Probably. Um, but yeah, okay. Two quick things. One, this is not... This was relatively early in the PS2's lifespan, by my understanding. Uh, Still look pretty good. Yeah, it does. Well, hold on, give me this thing. Um, uh, it's 2000. Oh, no, that's. I think it's like a lot 2002. Of yeah, I see that. Yeah. <laughs> I also checked my game case because <laughs> I own it. Yeah, we both just picked up our game cases. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, I do think this was originally intended to be a late PlayStation 1 game because it doesn't really make much use of the joystick it moves around but movement is mostly on a d-pad friendly plane 3d still, movement still very fluid though so. yeah yeah 3d movement hadn't really been or movement in 3d space hadn't really been marked down yet so yeah the right stick i'm Does. moving it is jack yeah the the camera is all on the l and r but l1 and r1 uh. Also, you might have noticed Virginia is, is just like fucking locked on to that lever. There's a thing over there! Yeah, in some cases this is helpful. Right now, we fucking see cases. the lever. Yeah, sometimes it's just really... Why can't I pull the lever? What the hell? <laughs> okay. But yeah, let's well, boogie. Yeah. 
And we boogied into an ambush. Oh. She don't have a beard. Get her. <laughs> I'm a woman, though. Yeah, I guess female goblins would have beards. Yeah. <laughs> oh, god damn it. I need to go into settings immediately. Okay, so this screen. This looks like an all selection screen. I I push I'm pushing and holding up right now. If I let go, it goes back down to the middle. Yeah, uh, yeah, change the setting. That is that nah, I always change it. That is bull. Uh, uh let's see, which one is it? Shh, shh. Oh. Uh, I think it's fixed. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the menu settings not too clear. No. Uh, well, I well, mean, gonna... you can press triangle to get info. Yeah, yeah, you can, which isn't all that helpful. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, My but bad. we're also gonna turbo the battle speed just to speed things up. But anyways, for this menu, we got fight. So we open the fight menu. Uh, we can't do anything with that or that. That's auto battle. Never use it. <laughs> No, no, sometimes, when you're grinding. Well, yeah, but you never really need to grind for this. <laughs> Unless you're doing some main... of the bonus content. Yeah, not the main game, the bonus. Holy shit. I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna, how we're going to handle Wagyu or Ragula. Um, but okay, once you select you're going to fight, you still got four more options. Items. We start off with a few. Uh, force abilities, this gets explained later. Can't do any of that. This is defend. Now this also one's reload. Yeah, this is important. If you go up to regular attack, you'll see I'm pointing at the screen. Why am I pointing at the screen? You can't see me pointing at the screen. What am I doing with my life? You see a little we have... five out of five down there? We got yeah. five bullets. Yeah, we got ammo to worry about. Defending reloads your ammo though, so you're only ever out of ammo for a single turn. Or unless you completely forget that you have to reload because you've never played this game before and you get stuck having to just punch enemies to death. Hi, Clyde! <laughs> yeah, that one happened to me with the Drifter Guardsman. No, this one happened to me in Virginia because I started with Jet. Uh, yeah, so did I the first time I played this game. He's got that awesome. nice white hair. Okay. I'm sorry, one more time, please. They brought an axe to a gun? Oh, yeah. Oh jeez, I just remembered an I just remembered something later in the game. You talk about the uh the Gatling overkill? No, well that too, but no the knights. Oh ho, 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 <laughs> you have fun with that. <laughs> oh shit, I think one of them's fun. orange! I think they're actually the colors of the fucking Castle Crashers knights. Yeah! Oh, that's gonna be great! Uh, we're gonna make in jokes that nobody else gets. <laughs> <laughs> nobody will get because I don't have that shit recorded. I wish the hell we had recorded that Castle Crashers run. But I am not going back to Castle Crashers ever. I beat the game. I'm done. <laughs> All right. Um, Virginia here is angsting about having to kill some monsters. Oh my and... god! I spilled innocent monster blood. Whatever shall I have done? Oh no, wait, they, I just shot them in the beard. They just ran off. No, they're fucking dead. Yeah, they're dead. The beard is their life. So <laughs> Did you hear her gunfire? Shut the hell up! I'm eating! Check out my beard. <laughs> and they're flying metaphors! Ding. Oh but shit, I need a ding counter. <laughs> I need a ding button. <laughs> Alright, now we can't open this door. Yeah, this game, unlike a lot of JRPGs of the time, doesn't just have puzzles. It has, like, st Also. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 wait, hold on. Damn it, I need... Okay. <laughs> we're working on it. Okay. Yeah, now, okay. just because... <laughs> <laughs> um... But yeah. I, every time I see that exclamation point, I'm going to do that now. My god, am I glad this is up there. Also, I got something for every time a wing and a uh, wing slash bird uh, metaphor gets brought up. Oh. We'll wait till the next time because it's going to happen like five more times before this tutorial is over. Yeah. Anyways, 
what this is explaining, with two million words, is that random battles have a bit of pre-warning, that little exclamation point. And you can actually avoid a random battle. Unless you are low on health, don't. <laughs> they aren't that hard. And you want the experience points. Area which just is right. Not giving you experience. Right. And it also costs you some resources to avoid a random battle. They're not that hard to refill, but you don't want to waste resources. It's a waste yeah. of resources. Exactly. It's almost like it's in the name. <laughs> but now I'm going to have to be fucking more attentive to the actual recording. That way I can press 3 or 5 as need be. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, this game doesn't just have puzzles. Oh god. Um, Chuck the boxes. Chuck the box. Yeah, it's got Legend of Zelda style puzzles. Chuck the box. And you want to be careful chucking these boxes. Because they do yeah, have items in them. And at one point, at one point, it, it and it is possible to chuck items into places where you really can't get to them. No, you go. No, you go. No, you go. <laughs> I love this game's the writing. The finest of the bunch. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> I've oh, never seen that before. That is hilarious. That was great. <laughs> oh, oh. I love this game's sense of humor. It, it, it's good at times. Alright, really quick on this screen since I've forgotten to explain it twice now. Uh, results. Experience points. That's how you level up. Gela is money. The XP bonus rate is affected by a couple of different factors that I don't actually fully understand myself. But I've uh, never actually seen it. Huh? That is somewhat. It's mainly tied to your status. Yeah. It's weird. Um, uh, and... So it's like, I think the, I want to say, lucky card item. Yeah, the lucky card item is helpful there. Uh, items yeah, that's what... are a thing that just explains items we got. Heal berries are like potions. Except, unlike every other RPG in existence, you can't buy potions at shops. Not at for all. a long time. Yeah. There's sort of a place where you can get more willingly, but it's a time-consuming process, because you have to grow the fuckers. Um, yeah. And I don't even... And it's a while before you can get to that. So yeah, healing yeah. items are rare. Now this screen, we leveled up. And the vitality gauge under Virginia's HP, if you take damage... The Vitality Gauge will restore some of your health up to a certain point, which is helpful for long dungeons, but it can run out. Once it hits zero, you're going to be pretty much standard RPG fare throughout yeah. the rest of the dungeon. Yeah. Um, we've Thankfully, got... it's not point-based, it's percentage-based. Yeah. Um, well, condition... If you suck during a battle, you're going to suck the rest of the dungeon. Yeah. Condition green means we're at full HP and good stats affects all that nonsense. Uh, just status. HP doesn't factor into that. Oh, it doesn't? Okay. Yeah, there we go. This hey, is a revived a fruit. No, it's a tomato! <laughs> and yeah, that, uh, that revives people. Now, the reason why I was carrying those boxes over here, if you throw them at the wall, it is entirely possible for the, for the fucking tomato to get stuck up above the wall. There we go. There's our flaming playing cards. Yeah, this is our first. This is our first tool. These are dungeon solving items. I almost missed it. <laughs> I don't remember ever having this many fights in this room. <laughs> oh, not this room, but a later dungeon. Jesus, it's like they amped up the encounter. Oh God, yeah. Ridiculous. I just, I just like, like for me every five steps. My mic. Yeah, I know. Some of these, the encounter rate is actually different for dun from area to area, which I kind of like. But in some cases, it's just dumb. Critical hits. These do like six times the damage. Yeah, so you've, our vital vitality gauge went down to replenish our HP. Mm. But um, yeah, these games. Wall. Oh. Yeah. These Thanks games... for telling us the puzzle game. Yeah, it only does it once. Yeah, or, well, once per fucking new tool. 
so that way you know what you're doing with it. Um, yeah. But yeah, see, this is why I call them flaming playing cards, because they look like fucking playing cards to me. Gambit is proud. Extreme Yu Gi Oh! Okay. Um. Look, Kaiba used a playing card to stop being shot with a gun, so. I mean, he did. But. We can't get the. Yet. Yeah, we can't. We got flaming playing cards, but we can't get burned through a thing. Got it that time. Alright, we're gonna fill these guys more. Full, full, more, full of more white hot lead. Oh no, wait, no, it's like. Is it six or nine times for the critical? I don't know. It's a lot. Uh, I think it's only double. No, it's more than double. Um. But yeah, it gets ridiculous. Uh, I'm not gonna get into character- We're not gonna get into character stats right now because it's a little hard to explain how each character fights with- In- In a vacuum. You kinda need- Fuck. All four of them to get together. So, I'll explain that once we're done with the tutorials. Speaking of tutorials... Yeah... I Let's think. Stealth mode activate. And we can't get up that ladder in uh, this visit. Uh, yeah. Actually, I think you can't. No. Oh, right. Cause we, yeah. Oh, and X does a little run. Uh, yeah, you get told about the letter. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So got two, actually I think it's only 1.5, because it's normally doing 48, but they only did 16. Hmm, might be right. And I, well... The 38, never mind! Yeah. I mean, to be <laughs> fair... Oh, I forgot, right, there's random hit, uh, range. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that shit. Plus... Some of the characters are bad. Yeah, sometimes they can get shit. Also, each character actually has slightly different, can do, does different damage when they critical. Or, ha or has different yeah. damage calculation when they're critical. Uh, for instance, I think we can actually see Virginia's. Um... Uh, not here, I can't. We're gonna have to wait! Uh, we can't get into this room. Oh. You skipped it! No, I had actually the thing. We can't get into that no, room. No, you skipped it because of that. Oh, yeah, yeah, if you're running low on your encounter gauge, as it is in the top left, uh, check a door. Or check yeah. anything. It'll, it'll nuke it, that'll fly. Run, Virginia, those, run. Those white crystals that he just ran past, they refill your encounter gauge by Very one handy. white crystal. Ha! Ah, you didn't skip it this time. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Although, I am genuinely shocked by how often Virginia's been landing critical hits. She is not a crit machine. No. <laughs> Definitely not. So that is just fucking bizarre. But she is strong, able to take a nasty nice face like that. Yeah. You can only take three damage. Too bad that doesn't last the rest of the game. Yeah, she gets squishy. Oh, let's actually open this chest. More healing berries. Yeah, oh, and magic berries. Heal berries actually heal you for like a shit ton. Yeah, these replenish the encounter gauge, which is in the top left. Every time you skip a fight by pressing circle to skip the fight. Don't examine that question, that sentence too hard, I certainly didn't. Um, that goes down. Oh man. Kinda hope we get more than no you go. Yeah, I know. That was great. I I've never seen never all- seen that before. I've seen that particular instance, but I've never seen all- every enemy do it. And right, now we want to take this little side door here. Oranges get oranges. Now these do refill your... Get down there. Orange crystals refill your vitality, which is handy. Because it means you can heal more and not have to rely so much on healing. What the fuck? Like, what is going on now? 
Did I do something to trigger super lucky mode? I, I have no fucking clue. <laughs> What is this? The That's opposite of the let's play. What is this? The opposite of the let's play. Chris, what the shit? I am screwed in one of the other pro prologues. Yeah. Oh god damn it! I don't want to be here. I went the wrong way. That's a door. That's, That's a also a door. Neither of which you can get it into right now. Yeah, we'll explain that system later. I need to go back upstairs. We've got more exploration to do. Oh, hold on. That's another... Oh. You can't trigger things that are off-screen with your tools. Oh, and each character has their own unique tools. I think there's three yeah, in total for each. Oh, never mind. Ow. Now, Virginia does too much damage. Yeah. Fuck, I, I want to say these guys have like 30 health. I think so, yeah. Or right around that number. 35 at the most. Holy shit, we're actually going to hit level 3. Before the boss. Amazing. Virginia unfortunately has a tendency to wind up being the lowest level member of the party. That's because you always start off at her. She starts at level one, that's you just can't get around that. Yeah. Granted, it winds up not mattering too much for another heal bear. More Wait. potion. Don't forget to check cupboards. Uh so. Yeah, uh sometimes cupboards and vases and shit will have extra things. And the bookshelves will generally have a book you can read. Um like for instance the Here guys... lately in Co we began as a caravan specializing in I'm surprised we're not named Wheatley. Today our business has expanded to include everything from daily commodities to gun. We strive to aggressively promote our line of fine products in order to increase total sales. With gun. The fiscal term, we have high expectations for our gross revenue thanks to our timely acquisition of new gun market routes for fine arts and crafts, including gun. Guns are fine we, arts. Wheatley, I mean Wheatley, are also committed to the promotion of archaeological discovery by exhibiting objects of cultural value, such as the statue we call Stone Wolf. <laughs> yeah. See, here's the thing: almost every book in the game, bookshelf in the game, has a book. Most of them look like that. Ah! Uh, uh. <laughs> Now that I can make the thing look like she's trying to go Super Saiyan. I was gonna say those your wings. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna ding for every every time wings. Oh, there it is. Okay, here's a thing. Here's a minor issue. My screen is <laughs> kind of dark, <laughs> so I didn't actually Making see the switch. <laughs> Let's go up here. That orange-haired kid could see in the dark. We cannot. Yeah. We're part bird, not part cat. And again with the evasion and crits! Hey. Virginia ate her weenies this time. You mean she ate her weight? <laughs> Alright, we need one more fight to get us to level 3. I dare you to put in a counter of how many times wings are said. Uh, or how many times I just put the ding, push the ding button. I might. I'm getting better at actually editing videos more. So. Take that, Gob. Shoot him in his beard. Yeah, we're level four. That's level three. Level three. <laughs> Um. All right, now we can proceed. All right, R two plus X, which doesn't want to work. Doesn't. What the fuck? What? Hold R two then press X. That's what I'm doing. I'm telling my two key is busted. That's 
Oh, I oh. have to actually be looking at it. Okay. If you're oh, looking that's at a... fucking. Oh, okay, there. Yeah. So if you're looking at a thing, it'll do this. But. Yeah. Slow now we just have press and hold. Grasp. I firmly grasp the wheel and turn it. As opposed to. Uh, turn, 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 turn. Tell us the lesson that I should learn. <laughs> Money! Hey, look, it's all a shit. It's not a lot of shit, actually. I don't care, I'm still doing it. Hey, look, actually, 400 monies. I feel Barry. I know it's in this room. Several things. A coin that is not money. Yeah, Gimbal coins are weird. They let you save the game anywhere you want, but it also costs you a coin to do it. You can also use a coin to basically reset a battle if you get if you lose. So guess Here. which one you get you mostly use them for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just really just one battle in particular that takes for fucking ever. Yeah. Yes, I, I will always be mad about that. Nine goddamn phases. Yeah, some of these things you got to be a little nonsense. <laughs> give me the give me the box. And give me the chest. The duplicator! It's weird as fucking name. Yeah, it really is. What's this guy doing? What's he doing in that photo? Oh my god, come on! Um, yeah. Time for the best hat in the game! Cool. Also, Werner appears to have yes. golden guns. It's just because everything looks brown. Yeah. Green, you. You're like shooting good. Uh, I like shooting with you. Think I can sh learn to shoot two guns at once like you? Two at once. That's gonna take some practice. I, I practice hard. Baby Virginia is adorable. So teach me, okay? Well, teach ya. Except of all, cause I'm a d Yeah. Then he slapped me and left. No. Um, okay. That was- that was terrible! Um... Yeah, that was dark. <laughs> no, okay, he didn't do that. Um, but Virginia's gonna have a massive sad now. And... I've gotta cover my whole face with my big-ass hand. <laughs> yeah, the proportions are a little deformed. Everyone's got massive fucking mitts. Yeah. Also, by the way, I haven't said it yet, but I actually really fucking like Virginia's design. It is very, very good. I, I, I kind of like Clive's better. Uh, Clive is actually my favorite character in this game. Alright, but we gotta use the duplicator to open this door. And you can't do that by poking them. You just have to seal by magic. Yeah, go in the menu. Yeah, go in the menu, which is a little, a little awkward. <laughs> you may want to save. In fact, I think the game even tells you you may want to save. It did. I don't. Yeah, this fight's not hard. I've never lost this fight. How dare you interfere with my beard? Virginia says, I've got slick dodging moves. Look, I've barely taken a hit this entire dungeon. I've been doling out crits like I'm a fucking beast. I'm going to kill you. Yeah. Also, quick thing to note if you've been paying attention with your ear holes, this game's soundtrack is fucking amazing. You can't beat me, little girl. You ain't got no beard. I've got a beard. And my 
I swear to god if I crit, crit again. Actually no, knowing my luck, I'm gonna crit on the super move. Or just right there. <laughs> oh, oh, you bitch! Yeah, Virginia can't back down now. Wings! <laughs> Why? <laughs> So instead, she's gonna go Super Saiyan. I was trying to think of a bird pun involving that, but I could. Come on. She's going Super Seagull! Thank you! <laughs> and yeah, this explains one of our force abilities, but we're not gonna use that right away because we need to reload. Yeah, no, you have to. Otherwise, battle doesn't end. Yeah, I know, but we need to actually have ammo. Yeah, that's true. Oh, really quick, the FP gauge down at the bottom, because my dumbass hasn't explained that yet. My dumbass isn't going to explain that yet, it doesn't, become, it doesn't, become, doesn't matter until we do Clive's intro, so ignore me. Force abilities, we could use Mystic. We have to have it because of Gap yeah. and For Mystic. Yeah, force abilities, I could use Mystic if I were really dumb. We can't use summon yet, so we're going to use Gatling. Gatling expends all of your ammo but does a shit ton of damage. Yep. And it's it also is used for a later exploit, which is ridiculous. It is also possible to crit on every hit of a Gatling attack. Also, ah, my beard! <laughs> His beard wasn't so tough. It takes a lot of energy to pull the trigger very fast. It didn't work on the cardio. Ah, uh, carpal tunnel. I didn't pay attention. Zombie land. Also, Holy potion. Double potion berry. This is like a high potion. Yeah, I was gonna say super potion, but. Ah, yeah. uh, we didn't quite make the level four. And then oh, all shit. these. I don't know why I'm she's sure. worried. He was the master of the beard. Gup, gup. I don't know why she's worried. She's killed way more than this, and she barely ever gets hit. Well, maybe you should have thought of that before you came here on your own. But look, wishful thinking has the power to summon allies. Everyone in here, hurry! How did I get? We came unarmed. No, we came armed. I waxed my mustache. How dare you insult my mustache? <laughs> How dare you get back all our things? That was a powerful ass slap. That's a teleport slap. <laughs> yeah, he knocked her into the next cutscene. <laughs> yeah. Did you rest well? How are you feeling? Like, I just got slapped into the next cutscene, what the fuck? That is the power of my mustache. Stop. I know I made you all worry. I don't know how I caused you trouble. I was doing alright. Now everyone wants to thank you for endangering your life. Um... I'm running away from home so I can be a... Basically a traveling fucking mercenary. Oh no! It's like she killed people, dear. Cover your face! My mustache will protect me. <laughs> My father disappeared into the wasteland, but the one thing he taught me was the ability to use Artifact of Ruins Memory. That is what ARM stands for in this game. <laughs> he taught me how to end. Power in the universe. God. Yeah, which is really. It's really weird that they have this fancy ass name for him, considering, unlike in every other Wild Arms game, Everybody uses these goddamn things. Yep. And I do mean everybody. If they don't have a gun, they're either using magic or are really. or are the butt of everyone's fucking jokes. Or are the one. De or, or are a demon, but you know, we'll get to him. Or throwing shurikens. Yeah, but he's a joke. Yeah, that's true. Um. Right. If there's anyone. Wings! Two for both in the same sentence! Oh, oh, yep, there's a fly, okay. 
I know I'm sounding like a dumbass, but I want to travel the desert so I can shoot people in the name of in the name of good. In the name of my wings. <laughs> what fucking kind of sense is that? All right, that's another theme that's going to be thrown around a lot. Memories, 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 gun. Yeah, memories, 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 wings, flying guns. <laughs> Oh, and Jet being a dick. If my gun is able to help, help out even <laughs> help even one person out of trouble, now this just sounds like a fucking ad for the NRA. <laughs> <laughs> if my gun, that's why you gotta say it right. You know, you gotta say you know, be real into the part. Just every time they say arms, you just say gun, dead hand gun. <laughs> my chair is creepy. My mustache will talk to. You've given us a lot of thought, haven't you? Hmm. Mustache. Unlike land, the open sky has no roads for you to find. Also, ding for the mustache. <laughs> also, ding for fly. <laughs> There's no one there to get out of that. That's what means to be a drifter in the way. Without a mustache. A mustache. God damn it! <laughs> That's what said. <laughs> yeah, you we were kidding when we said that metaphor is going to come up a lot. God damn it! <laughs> Especially in regards to Virginia. <laughs> huh. My mustache can't take all the dingy. <laughs> I'm going to cry because I'm getting exactly what I want. I'm so happy. Also, I think I since my, the waist of my dress a little too tight. I cannot feel my legs. It's a very poofy dress. Nah, no, she doesn't mention wings. <laughs> it's a weird band, okay? <laughs> yeah. Go talk to your mom's grave. It's a focal point for heaven. And some for hell. It's weird. Oh, right. The obligatory graveyard in every Wild Arms game. Okay, Virginia. Ask people who's placing the flowers on your mom's grave. They probably don't know. I mean, they don't, but you think she would have asked. Yeah, that's true. Yes, because I go to graves to bid farewell to my childhood. Her expertise in guns. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna get out here without yeah, another one? Yeah, we don't need match no. wings. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say we don't need to mention wings. <laughs> 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 It's really the only one that gets this bad, but... Gun alone cannot overcome adversity. Sorry, it's or not... are they the only source of strength? Sometimes the moment... you need a second gun. Yeah, she's got two. She's good. But sometimes you need a third. Okay. I'm gonna make a save file here. And... That's gonna be it for this episode. Um. God, 50 minutes in. Yeah. But we're actually gonna hit no to show off a thing. If you decide to quit the game without just turning off the console like a sane person, you get this little cutscene showing memories from Virginia's life. Accompanied by whistling. Should I have a memory dinger? Ha! Ah! Uh, that one doesn't come up as much. Oh, not in the early part. Well, there's Jed. <laughs> yeah, they left. He went out to... Went into mass destruction and said goodbye. He went out to buy milk. He said he was just going to get cigarettes. That's okay, I'm better dressed than him now. But I don't have a hat. None of us have a hat. Only he did. 
Well, there's one jackass who dresses like an elf, but he only sells the thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll do the next intro. So, and it won't take 50 fucking minutes, I hope. <laughs> thank God. All right, thank you all so much for watching. This has been Basilisk. I'm the caffeine driver. And we'll see you all next time. Thank you and good night, folks. Fly away, pretty bird!